If you head into the Canterbury Museum Collection Wet Store, you will find a special fish named Artie de Draco Shackletoni. This fish tells us an interesting story about the intersection of Ernest Shackleton's Antarctic expedition, museum curator Edgar Waite, and the museum's natural history collection. This is the holotype specimen, which means that this exact fish was used to describe the species. It is of special importance because it is the first physical example and name bearer of the special Antarctic fish. Barbelled plunderfishes dwell on the bottom of the ocean where they sit and wait for prey, such as crustaceans, to come to them. The story of this particular fish coming to Canterbury Museum starts at Cape Royds, Antarctica, in 1908. During Shackleton's 1907 to 1909 expedition on the ship Nimrod, extraordinary time and energy was spent collecting biological specimens from Antarctica, including everything from tiny plankton to enormous starfish. Collecting marine life in Antarctica was particularly challenging. Holes had to be first dug into the sea ice before either dredges or baited traps could be dropped down into the ocean. On the expedition was 21-year-old Raymond Priestley, who was studying to become a geologist at the time. He undertook much of the biological sampling work, and his remarkable efforts are mentioned on several occasions by James Murray, who was the expedition biologist, in his paper on collecting at Cape Royds. It is no disparagement to others to acknowledge the share which Priestley took in the biological work. Without him, the greater part of the collections would not have been made. With his constant work battling the sea ice, it was likely Priestley who collected the first ever specimen of Artie de Draco Shackletoni. On the 23rd of March, Waite welcomed Shackleton back from the Antarctic. There he was promised that the Antarctic fishes would go to him. Waite was able to identify all the Antarctic fishes except one. After receiving the necessary literature in the post, Waite confirmed the last fish to be Artie de Draco. But as it did not match with any of the known species of this group, he gave it the new name Artie de Draco Shackletoni. The new name of a species can be derived from several sources, including notable people, usually done to commemorate them. In this case, Shackleton. Waite included some interesting comments in the species description of this fish, including the whole fish is scaleless, but covered with mucus, and almost colourless. All useful and important information to note when you have come across a new species found in a land still being explored. 